let's talk about where our power comes from. This image shows the future and a fading past. In the background, you can see a coal plant soon to be phased out. And in the foreground, Oregon wind turbines providing clean energy. But clean energy resources like wind and solar come with reliability issues. And that's where a new Oregon facility comes in to possibly change the energy game around the country. Galen Etlin joins us now. And Galen, this facility is sending us clean energy right now. Yes, it is. Rain or shine, whether there's wind or no wind, the goal is to keep that power flowing our way. So, of course, the question is how, right? Well, check this out. This is the Wheat Ridge Power Facility, a wind and solar farm in Morrow County. Portland General Electric has partnered with Next Era Energy Resources to power about 100,000 homes using that clean energy at Wheat Ridge. And this is the big update there. The site now uses huge batteries to collect the power. And that's really important because we always need electricity even when the weather doesn't play along. And then the battery stores that power and can release that power back to the grid during the hours of the day when neither the sun or the wind is cooperating. Utilize that energy at those peak hours after the sun stops shining. So we're always looking for that next opportunity to bring benefits to each local community in the U.S. and to decarbonize uh, the U.S. economy. And get this, Wheat Ridge is the first facility at this scale in the whole country. And it's a big step toward PGE's goal to provide 100% clean energy by 2040, because right now it only provides about 36%. The plan is to end its coal contract before 2030 and transition natural gas to be more of a backup on days of high energy demand. Next Era Energy Resources also says the Wheat Ridge Battery Facility in Oregon will be the model for its other projects around the country. Galen Etlin, KGW News.